Hey everyone, Melanie Ninschinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. I hope that you got to enjoy us at our release party last night, but if you didn't, I am introducing my new macrame with love set from Gina K Designs. So I know that you are going to love this elemental macrame set that I made. It's so easy to build these different hangings and um, other rope elements with these stamps. I'm going to show you how to make just a very basic card using this large hanging and then stamping on some of these little tassels. The products and tools that you'll need for today's card, in addition to this set, I've got some of the Gina K Pure Luxury here in sea glass. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I'm going to score this on my score buddy here at five and a half for a top fold A2 size card. And then I've got a piece that is, let's see, five and an eighth by three and three quarters. That's just gonna layer on just like that. You'll want a tape runner or some little foam squares for attaching that. You need something to stamp your images with. So you can use a Misty, which is a stamp positioner. This is great for doing these really detailed images to make sure that you get all of those outlines there. So I'm gonna be using that for this large piece. But then I also really like to have just a small little block for anything that I'm gonna move around on my card rather than doing in just one spot. So I'm gonna use this for the tassels and for my greeting. You're also going to need some ink pads. So I've got the Gina K Jet Black Amalgam for that greeting. And then on this card, I use the Sandy Beach, but I wanna do something that is gonna coordinate with the sea glass base, just to show you a different option. So we're going to be using some of the coordinating ink. If you want, I haven't decided yet if I wanna show the gradient or not, or save that for the next video. We'll, we'll see what happens in a minute. I, I might kinda of show you the regular version and the pumped up version. So let's start by getting this stamped onto our mat. Oh, and I just want to say, if you want a block that is the correct size for these larger images, if you don't have a Misty, the 3 by 4 block that Gina carries is just the perfect size for those larger stamps. But I'm going to use the Misty today. So that is my nice set there that I showed. So I'm gonna be using my dirty set. I've got these all stained. They're already well loved. I've made so many cards with them. I just can't stop using it. I can't wait to show them all to you in videos. So I'm gonna put this in the corner right here. And I'm gonna put my magnets, one at the bottom and one near the top. And I couldn't find my tidy towel this morning, so I was getting this cleaned off with a paper towel. I know it looks really stained because I did a gradient on it earlier with some really bright colors. So I'm going to put that right about there. I want to have just kind of a clean white section all the way around, and then these tassels are going to hang down right here. So I'm just put that right there. Close the door. Just pop that back in. There's a stronger magnet now, but these are the smaller ones when I first got this. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ink this up with this sea glass ink. And so I'm just gonna ink this all over. And if you don't have it all inked up, that's okay. You'll get another opportunity with this door, but I always like to kind of check it against the light. It's hard to see this lighter ink though. And I'm just going to press this right down. And I know you see that orange in there, but I cleaned it off really well before I started. Okay. Okay, so I missed a little bit in there. I need to just press a little harder. On my videos, I always kind of try to lean back so I'm not getting in the way. Okay. All right, so you got a nice crisp image there. Now I'm going to go in... I can go back with this in a second. So now I'm gonna go in with those little tassels. So you've got three tassel options here. You've got two line art ones and then a bold one. So it's really easy to add pops of color with this. So I'm gonna be using both the large line art tassel and the small one. And you can add these anywhere that you have just the knots that the open tassel would go or any little points on the image. So you can really tassel this up, but I intended for there to be at least three on here. One here, one here, one here. 
You can put one here, one here. I've also got these hearts in the set. There's just so many different ways that you can add on to it. And I'm going to show building with this in future videos. But I'm going to do some of these large tassels on the sides. So I'm just going to put one here. So you're just going to ink up and then tap just the very top of where it ties there with the bottom of those knots. And then I'm going to put the large one here. Okay, now let's do the small one. So see how easy that is just to fill up a whole card front in just a second. Okay, so that's done. So let me put these back on my sheet really quickly. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that greeting. And I'm going to use the jet black for that. And then I forgot to mention I've got just some glue and some of the new little clay heart embellishments that Gina added to the store last night. They are so fun. So this, if you are stamping in a darker color, there are so many different places that you can put this on this greeting, but I'm just going to put this at the bottom right corner. And I wish I had done this with my Misty. It would have made it a little bit darker, but that's, that's fine. It's a good, good impression. Okay. So I want to just do, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more color here just to show you the gradient. So here it is just stamped in one color, but if you really want to punch this up, I'm going to show you adding on just some darker colors. So here I've got the blue lagoon, I've got the blue raspberry, and I've got the tranquil teal. And you could have done this with your tassels as well. So because I already have that sea glass at the top, I am just going to do just this lower portion in the, actually this is turquoise C. Okay, turquoise C. Okay, this one, tranquil teal, blue raspberry. Okay, so I'm gonna do the blue raspberry next. And then just a little bit of the tranquil teal at the bottom. So I'm going lightest to darkest. So I don't have to worry about that other ink on my pad. Okay. So go ahead and just press that down. And it's going to reveal something that looks like a tie dye. Isn't that pretty? See how all those colors just blended together? I didn't have to use any extra tools or anything. So fun. What you can also do with this Made with Love stamp is put it on the backs of your cards like you have your own little logo. So maybe I'll go ahead and use this teal ink. I think that would be pretty, a little more subtle than the black. Okay, so just right there, a perfect place to sign my name. And I just love the Made with Love on the front of this card. But just letting them know, yes, I made this by hand just for you. So I'm going to put this, and actually I need to trim this real quick because I got just a little bit of ink there at the top. You could also use your sand eraser for that. So I'm just going to crop that off. And on my other card I use, so you can center this or you can put this at the top. I think I'm going to center it now since I trimmed a little bit off of that. You always got to be ready to kind of pivot. Okay, and then with these little clay hearts, they're so fun. I already pulled out a few different ones. So you can do some contrasting colors or you can do even just one little heart. I think I'm just going to do one heart on that one. I really like to use the Gina K Connect glue for my embellishments because it's got that really small applicator tip. It's a liquid. Um, I'm out of my Connect glue and they were out of it in the store for a long time. It's back now, I believe, but I haven't gotten a new order place. So this is an old applicator that I foraged for. So I'm just going to stick that right on the heart, but I think these are really fun to put in those different little knots 
or at the top of the tassels to look like it's a bead that's actually strung on the rope. So very clean and simple. Let me show you that first card. So you can see the difference here, if it's just stamped in one color or something monochromatic. I also have a card that I wanna go ahead and just peek for you. Maybe two cards I wanna peek for you since this is a new set. I'm gonna cover up something on one of the cards. But you see, you can do, here's a gradient using the coral reef and the peach bellini, that is so pretty. And then here is one where you're using completely different colors. So this is the key lime, the coral reef, and then some of the passionate pink ink. So this is just such a fun look to do, this kind of dip dyed macrame doing a gradient with just a direct to stamp technique with your ink pads. You can also use your cubes for those. Thanks so much for watching today. Let me know which te technique you prefer and please visit us at Gina K Designs and Stamp TV and on my blog, Hands Art. Thanks so much for watching today. God bless.